I pray the Holy Spirit of God would lead us and guide us in all truth and understanding in Jesus Christ's most holy and powerful name. I have a word today from our sister Julie Wedby from I am calling you now blogspot.com. Invasions are upon you. I have called you out of the world and placed you, my army, in your end time positions. It is imperative that you do not lose your focus and that you do not fall prey to seducing spirits and spirits of distractions that seek to take you off the narrow path. I have ordained for you and my timing is perfect. You must not rely upon your emotions and experiences as a gauge for what I am doing. Stay on the narrow path no matter what the cost. Several invasions are upon you. As the portals of hell have been opened, millions upon millions of demons have been activated on the earth, and with them comes great chaos, destruction, and devastation. The chaos that I warned you of is overtaking the lands is happening now. This invasion of the Dark Kingdom is meant to cause a complete breakdown of modern and civilized society and will result in the peoples in the lands being greatly weakened. During this season, the judgments will simultaneously bring invasions of many kinds, such as pestilence and disease, through chemical and biological attacks aimed at further weakening the lands. The very air you breathe, the food you eat, and the water systems will be poisoned, which will cause many to perish. Pray diligently over all things as I have taught you, covering everything with my blood, and do not fear. Your lands will be invaded, North America, as you have sold your souls to the master of lies and deception, and you will reap what you have sown. You have caused all nations to drink of the wine of the wrath of your fornication, and great will be your demise. The enemies of your land, the great dragon and the bear, will invade your borders and strip you of your freedoms. There will be the invasion of so-called benevolent entities that are actually demons in disguise. Many shapeshifters already walk amongst you. Their numbers are growing, and many of them are in positions of great leadership. They will lead many astray, as they will promise peace and help to a world in chaos, but those who walk with me know they are not of me. Many refuse to believe the season you are in. They refuse to see what the king of all creation is at the door. But as these things that were foretold occur, there will be no doubt as to what has been written and the warnings that have been given. The invasion I want my remnant to focus on, however, is my Holy Spirit fire invasion, which will completely indwell my army and prepare them to reap in the great harvest. It is upon you, the greatest of all outpourings. My army is prepared. Look up, my loves, your groom is coming from you. Jesus Christ, Yeshua. I give glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. <clears throat> As with all words, go into your prayer closets and seek confirmation from the Holy Spirit of God, and trust in no man and trust in no woman, but trust only in Jesus Christ, our risen King and Savior. I pray that he would cover each and every one of you, with this holy fire hedge of protection. I pray he would wash you clean with the blood of the Lamb. I pray that he would cover your homes and your vehicles, your places of work and worship, your pets and provisions, your children, their schools, and their daily activities. I pray he would cover you all with the hedge that none may cross. I pray for those who cannot pray for themselves. I pray for my family. I pray for my neighbors. I pray for my loved ones. I pray for my relatives. And I pray for my brethren. That he would give each and every one of you your own hedge of protection. And cover you with the hedge that none may cross. I pray that he would strengthen you. In your time of need. And that he would renew in you your heart, your mind, and a steadfast spirit. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. I pray that he will equip you to overcome, in Jesus' name. I pray for each and every one of you, my brethren, in Jesus Christ's most holy and powerful name. Baruch Hashem Adonai, blessed be the name of the Lord Adonai, and glory to God in the highest. Amen and amen.